Hi, this is Stamati from Redware looking at the workshop for Turtle Graphics. Uh, now, for this one, you really do need to look at the tutorial uh, because uh, really I'm just going to give you some guidance here. Most of it's in the tutorial. So let's see, this is what we're going to create. So uh, um, also, you can just uh, go to the link for this thing and just see inside and download the. Uh, the, the the project here with everything in it. So what's going to happen if you're going to press the green button? It's going to clear. And if you press a one, draw a square. You press a two, a triangle, three, a hex, uh, a squirrel, uh, different types, different shapes here. Uh, we've got eight of them. So um, it's just really a, a practice to consolidate what you learned in the tutorial. Now I'll just get you started. Uh, so you can either download uh, this project but if you wanted to start from scratch um, There's two things you need to do really uh, The first is set your sprite up to start with so let's um, just just let's get a sprite. Let's get a Crab let's get the crab sprite and let's delete this one and let's get started uh, with the green button so the green control button is going to start us off and what we want to do is um, use the looks to change the size of the crab to make it uh, 20 percent and then we want the crab to go to zero zero every time to just start it off so when we press the green button wherever the crab is it's going to go to zero zero and then whatever Wherever it's turned to, we just want to get it to start off on position 90. So it's, uh, it always starts off where it should. Yeah, so that's basically our green button. Um, and then we need to uh, uh, just get you started. Let's draw a square. So to draw a square, if you remember, we need to move 50 to 90, which is turning right. Like so, bang, 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 four times. We need to do it four times. So we use a repeat four. And that's going to draw a square. And then what we want to do is when we press one of the numeric keys. Uh, so I've got when. Let's use the one. When I press a one, it's going to draw a square. And when I press the green, it's going to reset. Um, now, in order to get the pen to work, we need to click down here at the bottom left, add an extension, add the pen extension, and we want a pen down. Uh, yeah, so that's drawing the square whenever you press the one. Um, but what we want is we want the reset to uh, clear, erase all here. So erase all one. Raise all one. And then what you want to do is copy this and let's have it on two. And uh, for example, here we're going to draw a triangle. So reset, press a one, uh, press a two for the triangle. Uh, now, there's one more pretty advanced thing uh, I want to show you. Let's say you wanted to reset each time. You press the one and the two. Um, you don't really want to have to copy all these blocks. So you can make like a super block here with my blocks. You can say make a block, call it reset. And what you can do is the reset. I can just put all those in there. And then I can call the reset here when I press the green button. But also when I press the one and when I press the two. So now a green button will clear, one will draw the square, two will reset before it draws the square. So uh, that's really nice, those blocks. Um, and the idea really for this workshop is you just create eight or so different shapes. Um, and as I say, if you use the link to uh, go to the example project, you can just look at those and change those if you like. So that's the Turtle Graphics Workshop. Thank you.